Okay guys, so this should be my brush cleaners, or my bottle cleaners. I'm talking low because it's very late at night. So let's try to open it up. It's hard if you can't hear me. I'm not saying anything really important. <laughs> Brush cleaners cost me eighteen dollars, so I'm hoping that it's I'm hoping it's worth it. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, they're a little big, aren't they, Nada? I probably think they're a toy. She's like, oh, is that for me? No, I'm sorry, Nada. It's not. It's a brush cleaner. Okay, so let's see how these turned out. They're a little bit spiky. I'm worried they're gonna cut my my new bottle my new uh, bottle please pieces. This is a small one. This is a big one. Another medium one, oops, <laughs> and a little tiny toothbrushy looking one. I like the little bend it's got in there so you can get in the grooves. So these were $18, including shipping. And let's get a good look at the piece. I'm gonna take these out of my cat, so I want that box. Okay, so these are my two pieces, and let's take a few before pictures before I get started. You can see it's a little foggy. My cat is already inspecting, and we are going to see if we can restore it. Okay, so let's kind of get started. <laughs> hey guys, so now we are in the kitchen. And this is my experiment one. It's the one that's more foggy. And we are going to try restoring it. And it doesn't seem like it's all that bad. It's just really foggy. I love to see how it looks. So here's my brush cleaners. And I'm going to just try soap and water for now. I know y'all can't hear me today. The song is pretty loud today. We're going to just try soap and water for now. And see how that goes. Okay, this one. so for me, it feels like just one little rinse got most of the crud out. And the brush cleaner is doing pretty good. The only thing is it can't get in that big old bulbous bottom right there. And I don't want to spray my camera when I pull it out. But um, let's see how it goes. Overall, like it's already getting kind of shiny just from soap and water. Okay, so the piece is looking pretty darn good. I got my next brush. I'm going to do the rest. See if I can go inside of here. Okay, so this brush is not quite going in. Okay, I'm going to just put this in. Okay, so far, I'm feeling pretty good. I can't get the paint all from it, though. But that's on the outside. It has a gold paint on it. So far, so good, though. Okay, guys. We are done. That was just with soap and water. That was absolutely nothing special. And it looks gorgeous. Everything just came out. The soap and water and the little bottle cleaner. I'm happy with it. Let's go back to my room and compare the unclean one with the clean one.
Okay, so let's see, is there a difference? I would say yes, like a hundred percent. Yes, this is the clean one, who was the more dirtier one, and this is the dirty one. I think it's a huge difference. It's funny, all that white frost inside is just gone. I love it. It's so clean and clear like a diamond. This one is so white. But the funny thing is though, like, I don't know, the white frost kind of looks really nice though. Where because this one's so clean and clear, you can see straight through it. Maybe I'll keep one old and antique and the other one bright and shiny. <laughs> Okay guys, so I've decided to clean the next one in this video, but I gotta be very careful with this one because it's got chips on it. The other one's a little more sturdier, but because of the heavy crystal lid, it does have chips. So we're gonna be very careful, and we're gonna clean this one with just soap and water and see how it turns out. What I'm most concerned about is that foggy bottom. I'm not so sure if I got anything to clean that out, so we shall see. Okay, let's get started. It's just soap and water. really hot water. So I gotta be careful to hurt myself. Okay, so it turned out pretty nice, but that little jug ball bottom's a little bit foggy. It's got a ring in it that I can't quite get out. And I'm wondering, do I want to really focus on it or do I want to let it go? The top part turned out great. The stopper turned out beautiful. And I don't know, that ring is going to bother me, but I'm thinking about letting it go for now. Kind of want to use anything harsher inside of it. But it turned out really pretty. The other one turned out better though. So we shall see. And also I find really weird is they both got this little speck of gold paint on it. As if it, as if it came from the same place. But I got it from two different places. So kind of weird. Okay so I have a little mixture of apple cider vinegar and water soaking. And I'm drying these guys off. I'm not going to lie. I spent 18 bucks for these. And I feel like I could have gone from the dollar store. I really do. The only thing I do like is that this one can kind of bends. So I don't know. I'm not super pleased with the brushes. Their quality is really scratchy. Very scratchy and not really soft. I mean $18 is a lot. That's 20 that's like almost $20 for like something that's not that good. But these turned out really nice. I would say not really because of them. I noticed that just with some soap and water, it was already kind of cleaning itself. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, I'm okay. I mean, it didn't go bad. Right now, I'm letting this one just soak. They said apple cider vinegar is a good antiseptic, so that's pretty good. The facts are, I'm probably never going to drink out of these because they're made with lead. These old-fashioned, hundred-year-old crystals are made with lead. So, I can't really imagine drinking out of it. But, um... It's really pretty for display. Really pretty. In the meantime, while I wait for the solution to work, I'm going to empty a dishwasher and make some oatmeal. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> oatmeal. It's 
so I had to be done, but just to eat fast enough. I wanted to record, so I didn't do it fast enough. <laughs> if I hadn't reduced the heat, it was going to spill right over. Okay. Now that my food is all done, let's empty out this guy. Turn this off. Okay, so let's pour this out and see if it was ready. Let's take a look. You know what? That did help. I don't even see the ring no more. That's amazing. It was a little bit foggy. I'm going to give it a quick rinse to see if that fog clears up. But overall, that hot water ring, like it's gone. Okay guys, so I have finished cleaning my decanters. Uh, these are, as I told you in my last video, these are 100 years old. This one was made in 1908 and it's got a little topper and it cost me 59 bucks. This one, which didn't have a topper, was made in 1907 and it cost me 41 bucks. And I got them both off of eBay. I love them. They restored up really nice. The one I used was soap, water, and my bottle cleaner, which I should have seen in other parts of my video. And uh, it didn't need much. Now, it's still a little foggy this morning. I'm still seeing a little bit of marks. So I might try cleaning it again or I might leave it because I don't want to like go off too much. But I think they're gorgeous. Now, the cool thing is I have a big dilemma. It, I scoured the internet to find these two. I found this one first by chance and I fell in love and then I went and found another one and I said is this the only two like in existence left but I found a third and so now I'm sure there's other ones like other people's houses but these are the only three that's being sold online and so the third one I'm thinking really hard about buying it I said do I want to be the owner of all of them because I, I, I'm in love with these I have no idea why but I'm thinking hard about buying and the, my dilemma is it's not from eBay. I've gotten both of these from eBay so I kind of I trust eBay. Where this site I don't really know it and it costs more. They want $69 for it and I'm like I got $59.41 why you need $69? I think because it's already restored but I'm really iffy so tell me in the comments should I buckle down and buy the last one because I think that's the last one for sale like in the entire internet so I don't know or should I just be happy with my two I think I might be happy with my two but I don't know I can't oh now I remember I wanted to tell y'all what it was what it's called this is called Memphis glass it is called Memphis glass or aka doll's eye print and the cool thing is I spent 59 on this one but I found a collector online who had some that was who had one just only one that was restored and they said they can get up to a hundred and ten dollars for one of these for just the print on it so I said why well, can't I just pay only half for an antique and I love it so yeah so that's what it's called and um yeah rest in your comments that y'all y'all grandmother or, or grandparents had it in y'all home so yeah this print is really pretty it's really old and i just adore it it's my first time really dealing with it so yes thank y'all for all your comments and uh tell me in the comments did y'all like how restored up like the whole process do you have any suggestions on how to clean glass i'd love to know and i will talk to y'all guys later like i said all my videos i'm an author check out my books and links back in my channel and tell me what y'all think about my babies i love them <laughs> and if I should buy the last. Okay, guys. Bye. <laughs>